Wolf, did you see? The black dogs in their rickety tubs. They bay at our gates, seek to strike fear in our hearts. Saw them all. Where's our man? Went to see Lugas. An uncrate on the throne remains a thorn in his ass. <laughs> now he's seen the black ones, it pricks him even harder. The druid's gone to reason with the dim-witted knob. I think I'll join Ermian. Need to talk to him. Go. And when you see that bloody twit Lugas, be sure and tell him... Uh, best not. The druid knows what to say. Farewell. before an oncrite, never. That clear to you? You prefer to aid the Black Ones? I'd sooner aid the rights of bleeding Moorhawk than let Crack rule all Skelliger. And your men, what do they say? Will they follow you when the Jarls call you a traitor? This here is my land, Druid. Watch your words. What would you call it if not treason? That your bark before you bite. Did Crack send you here for my head? Well then go ahead! Try to take it! Get him! I was not expecting this. I thought Lucas would give a condition to her at least. But I guess he won't be called Madman if that's what but well expecting him. See no row can occur in Skellige without your participation. Mean and inaccurate, Ermian. Seems to me I've missed quite a few. The blood of Crack's blood sits upon the throne, and that is your doing. I'm afraid you've ignited a small civil war. For ages, men had shed each other's blood in the quest for Skellige's crown. Politics as usual, just a difference of degree. Yet the bloody feast at Kertrolda was different. It was dishonorable, treacherous, needed investigation. More witcher's work. Work that culminated with the crowning of the Isle's new queen. So, Clan Drummond will attack sooner than we expected, it seems. Thought Croc sent you to negotiate an agreement with Lugas. Ha! An agreement? Only Krach believes such a thing possible at this stage. Mean I didn't actually ruin things for you? Not this time. 
Lugas' death stands to change a great deal. His cousin, who will now be named Jarl, is a weak commander. Stupid. This war will start soon, and even sooner. But why have you returned to Skellige? How's Ceres handling things? As the makings of an excellent queen, if she would only flee her father's shadow. Everyone, Lugas accepted, declared their support for her. Yet the minute the Imperial fleet appeared on the horizon, the Jarl took matters into his own hands. And Yalmar? And the lads led three raids against the Imperial fleet, all against Krak's will, all failed. Uh, yet he'll find volunteers for another. Yeah, sounds like Yalmar. Listen, Ermian. Know anything about the Sunstone? Legends place it somewhere in Skellige. The Mask of Urberus first, now the Sunstone. Monsters may rest easy. You've become a treasure hunter. I've never found the Enshe Elves interesting. But there's a Skald, Avid. He could help you. Once told me of some inaccessible caverns or ruins or some such. Where will I find him? Today? In Arambjorn, doubtless. You might also ask the pearl divers, Erling and Matthias Fishlung. Of late, they hunt near the tip of the bay, eastern end. Fishlung? Interesting. So they call him. Submerges for hours at a time. None know how he does it, but I've my suspicions. Hmm, not too fond of him. It's nothing personal. I couldn't stand his father or grandfather either. Thanks for your help. One thing, Geralt. These caves are ruins. Matthias and Erling's ancestors would have looted them bare centuries ago were they not protected by some magic barrier. Take a sorceress with you. You must have brought at least one along. Oh, gaggle this time. Ah, uh, gods protect us. I'm wondering if Lugus would still end up ordering his men to attack if Geralt didn't come. If so, I still believe Ermin can fend for himself easily. Not now. Watching for Nilfgaard's fleet. Fleet? Oh, aye, they mentioned something. Nay, hey, I've more important matters on my mind. By my calculations, today's the day he gave Org the legendary white whale that swim the waters of Skellige. Been waiting for this my whole life. What's this whale about? He's to appear when specters descend from the heavens into the waves. The serpent wakes the sea's wrath, and an icy monster devours an isle. Be the first bard to compose a ballad about him. Legends don't happen to mention a curse of the Black Sun, do they? Black Sun? What are you on about? Never mind. Let's watch for Gevorg together, and you can tell me what you know about any elven ruins in Skellige. Part of some cavern no one's been able to enter? Good thing, too. Elsewise, they'd have plundered it long ago like all the others. Avon. What? I... Uh, just wanted to assure you I only want to look around the cavern. It's research. Research? Writing a historical treatise on the Enshe Elves, under Ermion's tutelage. Ermion? Man never cared a whit about the Elves of the Mountains. I've seen through you, you can rather. Cut me to bits if you like, I'll never tell you about the cavern! <sighs> oh. I realized right away after the conversation that I should have picked the second option. Because even so bad, and that might make him be more willing to help. And here's a little what the fuck moment.
must be the Pearl Diver's boat. No way around it. Gonna have to dive. They call him Fishlung for a reason. Finally, after almost a minute of swimming around, I found an entrance to a cave. Told you we wasn't done for the day. Didn't even have to fish this one out. You daft. Can't you see he's a witcher? What's a witcher doing here? Run out of pearls. Not your concern. What the sea gives, we take. Seems she's a reluctant giver. Hey, I could use a better knife. But a few hours and their fingers are swollen. Plan to return the bodies to their families at least? I mean, once you're done. They speak true. Mutants got nothing resembling refined sentiments. Look at them. You think their ever loving mums and wifeys want to see them in this state? The sea will bury them. And that's that. Risking a lot. Why? That a threat or something? Don't need to worry about me. But I heard calls underwater. Monsters must have sensed blood. I don't hear nothing. Ordinary folk never hear these things till it's too late. We best get out of here, Matthias. Listen, heard you know a thing or two about elven ruins in Skellige. Who says? Ermian. Mm. You'll not tell him what you saw today, will you? Depends. Elven ruins, you say? What you want to know? Druid mentioned some cavern you've never been able to enter. Where is it? East of Kertrold. In a cove you can only reach from the sea. We got nothing else for you, so if you're done, we'd rather get back up top. I'm done. And good idea. It turns out Ermion's suspicions land on something. Fishlong wasn't really underwater all the time. They're just doing their thing inside this cave and resurface when they're done.
Insert stranger. I heard the milk food might be a stick. I'd rather verify it now. Otherwise, I'll continue to wonder if he's not about to stab me in the back. It is something of a consultation complex. Can you come with us? I haven't intended. Going somewhere? Siri says there's a site in Skellige we must examine. Avalok's clearly hiding something from us. Earlier, when we were in the Isles together, Avalok mentioned a laboratory. At one point, he wished to teleport there, to retrieve something. And he refused to take me with him. It was all very strange. Sufficiently suspicious, don't you think? So what? Want to just sneak in and root around? Exactly. Coming with? Fine. Where is it? On a small isle between Undvik and Spikerog. Not exactly on our way. Just found out the sunstone's on Ard Skellig. A cavern along the coast that we can only access from the sea. Gonna need some real magic to get in, too. Go find this laboratory. I'll explore Ard Skellig. You can join me later. Philippa, your eyesight. Only just recovered and magically simulated. Didn't you say you'd need some time to get accustomed? Did I? I'd forgotten how irritating she can be. Come, Siri. We'll await you there. Sing ballads of Beijing. <laughs> 